Hey guys, what is up? It's my games here. And oh, I'm sorry about um, um having to you yeah. know postpone videos and stuff like that. And I haven't posted a video for a while, but um. You know, I'm, I'm not going to complain too much, but yeah, it is hard work, and it's difficult to post a video every week, especially with the audience that you get, and I know that I'm, uh, probably not, I haven't got a very just argument for not posting any videos, but, um, basically it's, uh, been a bit difficult, haven't really got, had anything to post, you know, I've been playing games, so I just haven't been doing that well on them, but here, uh, this is the Waffen Trigger Alpha E100. I do not have this machine, but my friend FJ13 does, and uh, this is one of his. This is his best game in it so far. As you can see, it's a. He's using the six shell auto loader, a six shell clip, and um, you can see that he's in this rock position right here. Uh, if you see here, it's qu this is quite a strong position if you want to get shots, as you can see him doing there. So at the moment he's just waiting around, seeing, looking for opportunities to... There he spots a bat chat. Looks like he's taken his track. No, he didn't take his tracks off, or he might have done, I don't know. But getting two shots very very quickly like that is what the Waffen Trigger is good at just very very quick shots um, it's not too too accurate the gun but uh, you know you can't have everything and the IS-3 is in for a bit of a bit of a surprise and that's the difference between a good and bad player I mean that other IS-3 was a awful player because if he he saw his teammate getting absolutely walloped and then he decided to come out and get walloped as well and obviously this Waffen Trigger would have got spotted by that IS-3 well I think it should have maybe I don't know probably would have but uh, he came out anyway um, but as you can see the teams uh, he's not a good player well both of the IS-3s are not like great so he is just reloading here. Uh, as you see, the reload is pretty long, but uh, for six shells, he's already done 2,000 damage, which is you know his HP already with one clip. I mean, and he's missed one shot, two shots, I think. Uh, so there you go. He's tracked. Didn't get that shot. Boom, and another kill. He was a bit slow there, firing on the T-57 heavy, but now the T-57 heavy was dead. He would have killed him anyway, if he, even if he didn't have that ammo rack, but that was a nice ammo rack. As you can see, he's already on 4,000 damage. This tank is such a good tank. I mean, like, if you can get it, just get it, because, like, dude, I mean, seriously, this is overpowered, man. This is just overpowered. He's in a bit of a uh, bad situation here because he's kind of wedged between the ice. Well, he can't go back too far, and he can't go forward because of that Tiger 2, which is going to shoot him. So he's kind of got to just hope and luck and just not get spotted anymore and wait till he reloads so he can deal with one of one of the flanks. As you can see, the team's not doing that bad. They've only lost set seven, eight. Uh, FJ has. Uh, 21 seconds left on his reload. Now, IS-4. Doing a pretty bad move. Uh, unlucky there, bounce from the side of the turret. But, uh, you yeah, know, what can you do? Are you just being cautious around here? doesn't want to get hit. Boom, another shot, and he's killed the T-32. I mean, if you have a look, the, the gun is not accurate, but it's accurate enough. 
I mean, it it seems like it will always go somewhere in the middle. Um, he's got two shells left. He's already done 5,300 damage. At this point, I would be like, you know, this is quite a good game. Aiming for the lower plate, but he shows them his side and he takes his side. Now he needs to reload again with 6,000... Sorry, I can't speak. 6,000 damage. Um, we just have a look around. Uh, we can see that the bat chat is over there, the EFGM is over there, E100, and Tiger 2 is over here. So he's over here, and there isn't much here, so they've kind of got this side, and they're fighting over. So the lines of, um, the, the line of contact, let's say, is like around here. You've always got to be aware of that, you know, where your enemy is, and, you know, where your enemy isn't. So, and you can use spots to your advantage, even if, you know, this land here would be your enemy's land, but if you can take that and use those spots there, you know, you can gain yourself the advantage. Another, another good uh, tip for you guys is, I would install XVM, because as you can see, without XVM you don't get these things which tell you the last known locations of the tanks. And I mean, that really, really helps to just give you a summary kind of, of where, let me increase the map for you, if I can, there we go. Um, it just gives you a summary of, you know, where the, the uh, other tanks are. At the moment it's 11.11. And he's just gonna go through the front plate. This Tiger Two. He he did well there, uh, but uh, he could have done a bit better, maybe tracking the Tiger Two. Um, but he did well. So at the moment he's seven thousand damage, three kills. Uh, at the moment he's just doing beastly. At the moment, um, nothing more to say. It's a pretty good game, but these are the games that you can expect. Uh, luck, very, very lucky shot there. Uh, no aiming. And now he donkeying out a bit. bit. He's tracked him, and the E100 is gonna pay. As you can see, he has a lot of gold shells loaded, which uh, I don't really quite agree with that. I don't think you're gonna need four clips of gold shells in this tank. I mean, the standard penetration, 270 sort of penetration, is way enough. I would say maybe two gold rounds, you know, at the most. And I would never load any high explosive in this tank. Uh, but that's his choice. I mean, like, now he's down to the last clip, and if it was a bit of a tight, more tight game, if the bat chat or anybody of the other p tanks hadn't have done anything, then, um, who knows? He might be firing gold and wasting loads of credits. Now he's going to finish reloading, and he's timing this perfectly. Coming around. Bat chat, no clue what he's doing. But, I mean, like, you know. Warford Traeger, very, very strong tanks, just gonna one hit anything. Uh, well, that was a pretty good replay there for you guys. I'm sorry I did not get the. Uh, it didn't send me the battle uh, results, but as you can see, 10,000 damage. I think he got near 130,000 credits, normally without um, premium, which is pretty damn good, and I would expect about 2,000 uh, experience here. But 5 kills, unlucky they didn't get top in, for, but for 9,800, that was great. Uh, see you guys, hope you enjoyed this video, um, I really suggest getting the Waffen Trigger, I really grind, like, all the tanks in the line are good, except the tier 7, which is crap, but, I mean, like, they're great, so, go get a Waffen Trigger and...